Hello YouTubers, I've got a big sale today, a 26800 size 1 from Queen Betray. QB26800 is rated at 6800 mAh and can be discharged at up to 20 amps. It's 80mm long and 26mm in diameter. Just look how big it is in comparison with the 21700 and the 18650 cell. Not every charger can accept such a long battery. Whatever, my equipment has no problem accepting it, thanks to my holder. So let's take a look at it and the way I test the batteries. All the tests were done using a special battery tester, the ZK E-Tech EBC A20, which supports 4-wire measurement, discharge current up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building graphs. I've upgraded my battery holder to the version 3.0. I have made contact pads from 0.5mm pure copper sheet. The positive terminal is 9mm wide and the width of negative terminal is 11.5mm. The pads are designed to provide good connection even with batteries which have deep placed positive or negative contacts. I followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The air temperature was 20-25 centigrade and before each discharging cycle a battery was charged at its standard charging current mentioned in its datasheet and after that it was left uh, for one hour minimum. After discharging cycle it also was left for one hour minimum. I've bought these batteries from Queen Battery which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. I will leave a link to their website and their email under this video. This battery has no particular marking with data code or batch number. There is only the model number and basic information on the heat shrink tube. It has the following specs according to its datasheet. Capacity 6800 mAh, nominal voltage 3.6 volts, standard charge current 6.8 amps, maximum charge current 13.6 amps, charge cutoff current 340 mA, charge end voltage 4.20 volts, maximum continuous discharge current 20.4 amps, maximum pulse discharge current 44 amps for less than 30 seconds, discharge cutoff voltage 3 volts. AC impedance less than 10 milliohms. Weight about 121 grams. I've charged it at 5 amps, which is the maximum for my tester. The other values were set according to the datasheet. The measured weight of my cell was 116.18 grams. At 0.2C or 1.46 amps, Queen Battery QB26800 gave out 69.40 milliamp hours or 25.45 watt hours. At 5 amp discharge rate, the result was 66.41 mAh or 23.68 Watt hours. At 10 amp discharge, 65.68 mAh or 22.72 Watt hours. At 15 amp discharge rate, it gave out 65.53 mAh or 22.09 Watt hours. At 20 amps, 62.17 mAh or 20.52 Watt hours. At the end of the day, QB26800's real capacity is more than 6900 mAh at 0.2C discharge, even at 3V discharge cutoff. It's usually 2.5 or 2.75 volts for lithium ion cells, so be attentive choosing a BMS. At 20M discharge, this guy's capacity is over 6200 mAh and its energy is more than 20 Watt hours. A good result, which also has a nice car without sudden voltage drops. That's all for today, like this video if you find it useful and interesting, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell next to the subscribe button to receive notifications about new videos. Bye bye!